Hi, I'm Steve with Alberta Urban Garden.ca. There is a recommendation out there to avoid using tap water in the garden because the chlorine in the water harms beneficial bacteria in your soil. Last year, in the Testing Garden Assumption series, I took a look at this claim in my garden. In order to test this assumption, I took a variety of samples to Maxim Analytics for analysis. I sent in an untreated control and samples where the soil had been treated a number of different ways using tap water. Maxim Analytics then analyzed the bacterial colonies to see if treating soil with tap water would result in a reduction in the concentration of bacteria within that soil. I only use tap water in my garden very sparingly. As such, the populations of bacteria within my soil should be very robust and have species that are very sensitive to chlorine and some species that are not. Although not all the bacteria in my soil can be cultured, the ones that can should be representative enough to see if the chlorine within tap water is harmful. I found in last year's video that there was no noted difference in bacterial numbers when comparing the control to even the extreme situation of adding a half gram of soil directly to fresh tap water. When I published my video last year, I had a hard time finding any peer-reviewed research that either refuted or supported the evidence that I presented. Until recently. I found a paper that I thought I'd share with you today. Researchers have long hypothesized that there is bacteria within our drinking water. However, the species just are not culturable for some reason. A recent paper in the Journal of Microbes and the Environment had a paper from researchers from Lund University in Sweden that took a look at fresh tap water to see if they could find any bacteria within it. The researchers took a look at drinking water distribution systems and using next generation genetic sequencing went about looking for bacteria. This method does not require you to be able to grow the bacteria in a lab to count it. Rather, it kills everything and uses the DNA to figure out what is in the water. The researchers found millions of bacteria in the tap water. I know what you're thinking. With millions of bacteria in our water distribution system, how can our drinking water be safe? Well, the researchers noted that less than 1% of the bacteria found in their study could be cultured using conventional techniques. And this is really good news, because most of the pathogens, or the very few species that can actually make us ill, are easily cultured in a lab. They even noted that the bacteria that they did find in the species may actually in fact improve the drinking water by helping to filter it. You may be asking yourself, how is this relevant to my garden? The results support the findings of my video last summer, refuting the statement or claim that tap water is harmful to bacteria. The filtering and treatment of the water treatment plants does a very good job at removing suspended material and bacteria that can become harmful. The treatment process, however, does not kill all of the bacteria. The researchers in Sweden investigated a little further to figure out what bacteria were in their samples. As it turned out, the vast majority of them are ones that live in what's called a biofilm. A biofilm is something that the bacteria excrete to create something like a house. It protects them from the harsh environment, including things like chlorine. Similar bacteria are found in your garden soil. These bacteria are essential in the nutrient cycle as they retain nutrients in the soil and they consume and break down more complex molecules, releasing more plant available nutrients. Bacteria in soil also has the added benefit of protection from the soil itself. The soil acts similar to a biofilm, allowing the physical protection from chlorine in any water. Most soils are also chemically active. Chlorine, when it's mixed with water, creates what's called hypochloric acid. It's an effective killer of any bacteria that are suspended within the water, such as salmonella or E. coli. However, once it's added to the soil, this acid is easily neutralized by the soil's buffering capacity and in such low concentrations is extremely unlikely to cause any decrease in bacterial populations. What does this all mean for your garden? It really means that the chlorine in tap water is unlikely to be able to harm the beneficial bacteria that we rely upon in our gardens because that bacteria is protected by biofilms and the soil itself. It also means you can save a few dollars by not needing to purchase expensive filters to filter out the chlorine that's found within your tap water. If you happen to miss last year's video where I investigated if tap water killed beneficial bacteria, the link is on screen now.